Solomon gave orders to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal palace for himself. He conscripted 70,000 men as carriers and 80,000 as stone cutters in the hills and 3,600 as foremen over them. Solomon sent this message to Hiram, king of Tyre. Send me cedar logs as you did for my father David, when you sent him cedar to build a palace to live in. Now, I am about to build a temple for the name of the Lord my God, and to dedicate it to him for burning fragrant incense before him, for setting out the consecrated bread regularly, and for making burnt offerings every morning and evening and on the Sabbaths, at the new moons and at the appointed festivals of the Lord our God. This is a lasting ordinance for Israel. The temple I am going to build will be great because our God is greater than all other gods. But who is able to build a temple for him since the heavens, even the highest heavens, cannot contain him? Who then am I to build a temple for him except as a place to burn sacrifices before him? Send me, therefore, a man skilled to work in gold and silver, bronze and iron, and in purple crimson and blue yarn, and experienced in the art of engraving, to work in Judah and Jerusalem with my skilled workers, whom my father David provided. Send me also cedar, juniper, and algum logs from Lebanon, for I know that your servants are skilled in cutting timber there. My servants will work with yours to provide me with plenty of lumber, because the temple I build must be large and magnificent. I will give your servants, the woodsmen who cut the timber, 20,000 cores of ground wheat, 20,000 cores of barley, 20,000 baths of wine, and 20,000 baths of olive oil. Hiram, king of Tyre, replied by letter to Solomon. Because the Lord loves his people, he has made you their king. And Hiram added, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, who made heaven and earth. He has given King David a wise son, endowed with intelligence and discernment, who will build a temple for the Lord and a palace for himself. I am sending you Hiram Abai, a man of great skill, whose mother was from Dan and whose father was from Tyre. He is trained to work in gold and silver, bronze and iron, stone and wood, and with purple and blue and crimson yarn and fine linen. He is experienced in all kinds of engraving and can execute any design given to him. He will work with your skilled workers and with those of my lord David, your father. Now let my lord send his servants the wheat and barley and the olive oil and wine he promised. And he will cut all the logs from Lebanon that you need and will float them as rafts by sea down to Joppa. You can then take them up to Jerusalem. Solomon took a census of all the foreigners residing in Israel after the census his father David had taken, and they were found to be 153,600. He assigned 70,000 of them to be carriers and 80,000 to be stone cutters in the hills, with 3,600 foremen over them to keep the people working.